लेटस डू ब्रह्मनाद ओ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड द थ्री डोमेन्स ऑफ लाइफ व्हाट आर दे आर्किया बैक्टीरिया एंड यूकेरिया we discussed that the prokaryotes the monera kingdom of the five kingdom system are distributed in archaea and bacteria the ancient bacteria are placed in the archaea uh, domain and the u bacteria they are placed in the bacteria domain who has introduced the three domain system of life yes carl ooze who has also given the six kingdom system of classification the rest four kingdom that are the protista the fungi planty and animalia they are placed in the eukarya domain the eukarya they belong to all eukaryotic cells the organisms of the eukarya they are having the eukaryotic cells they may be unicellular organism or multicellular the unicellular the protistans are the unicellular and multicellular are fungi planty animalia we discussed that uh, the in uh, the organisms of the three domains they are how they are different in the cellular structure habitat so as the prokaryotes they have the cell wall but still they uh, in uh, the archaea they do not contain the peptidoglycan in bacteria they contain the peptidoglycan but what about the cell wall of the eukarya eukarya in eukaryotic planty they have the cell wall made up of cellulose animalia of the eukarya they do not have cell wall the fungi of the eukarya they have the cell wall made up of chitin and the protista protista in generally they do not have in generally they do not contain the cell wall that means some forms are having the cell wall some forms do not have what are some forms as we discuss the protista involves the it will uh, uh, involves the animal origin uh, unicellular organisms the plant origin and fungi origin the animal origin protistans like the amoeba the plasmodium the euglena they do not have the cell wall the fungi origin like uh, the slime molds they are also not having the cell wall only the spore stays spore in the spore stays the spores are having the cell wall that is made up of chitin and cellulose however the plant origin protistans unicellular plant origin that is a unicellular algae like the dinoflagellate chrysophytes they are having the cell wall made up of cellulose okay and what we discuss that systematics and taxonomy who has given who coined the term systematics carlos linnaeus the father of taxonomy who coined the term taxonomy yes epide candle and what is uh, systematics uh, and uh, taxonomy systematic is the the branch of science which deals with the characterization nomenclature ident identification nomenclature and classification based on phylogeny that is evolutionary relationship comparative uh, that study comparative knowledge about these org living organisms that is the systematics taxonomy it also deals with uh, the characterization identification nomenclature and classification but based on principles and procedures which can be changed uh, after further studies with further studies but systematics cannot be changed so students in this session we are going to discuss a new topic species concept what is species first of all what is species that is what concept is given by different scientists on species as we discuss 
that that there are seven basic categories of the classification that are from kingdom to species kingdom phylum or division class order genus class order family genus species species is the lowest basic unit species is the basic is the basic and lowest unit of classification lowest unit of classification then what is the highest unit then question should arise is it what is the highest um, unit of the classification yes kingdom so what is the highest unit of classification of classification yes the answer would be kingdom as per the five kingdom system the five kingdom system or the six kingdom system whatever the five kingdom system is generalized one species is a term which is derived from species what is species is a latin, latin word it is a latin word is a latin word meaning is kind or appearance what is kind or appearance kind or appearance how it looks morphologically appearance is the morphological appearance okay so species is the what we discuss species is the basic and lowest unit species is the basic and lowest unit of classification what is the highest unit of classification kingdom species is a latin word whose meaning is kind or appearance okay then species term was first used by john ray the naturalist john ray the naturalist first used the term in his book historia generalis plantarum explaining it it as the basis of common descent common descent basis of common descent that is the species uh, the individuals are said to be species the which are origin from common ancestor common descent means origin of common ancestor so john ray the naturalist first used first used the term species it is a latin word species in his book in his book historia generalis plantarum as the basis of is the basis of common descent common descent who descend from who came from the common ancestor that is that is the origin origin from common ancestor who is your ancestor yes our grand uh, grandparents fathers fathers father they are our ancestors so 
that is origin from the individuals whose origin different individual whose origin from same common ancestor those who are having the common ancestor at some point they are the the species these those individuals are called species origin from common ancestors basis of common descent who told john john ray a naturalist many scientists they have given the concept on the species so there are various uh, concepts are, uh, are there the different definitions are given on their concept who has given who have given yes taxonomists the evolutionists the geneticists they have given the different definition on species or species concept taxonomist taxonomist evolutionist darwin evolutionist taxonomist carlos linnaeus he has given evolutionist the geneticist given different definitions different definitions on species concept on species concept so the most important and the generalized concepts are the morphological concept morphological species concept the biological species concept and the genetical genetical species concept let us discuss one after another the morphological species concept was given by carlos linnaeus and the biological species concept was first given by the charles darwin and modified by ernst meyer and genetical uh, species concept that uh, that was given by the lord c okay so let us discuss one after another so it is genetic species concept okay genetic species concept was given by lord c okay let us discuss the morphological species concept morphological species concept was given by was given by carolus c a r o l u s carolus linnaeus l i n n a e u s carolus linnaeus according to him species is a group of individuals which resemble each other in most major morphological characteristics species is the group of species is a group of individuals group of individuals which which resemble each other which resemble resemble each other in most most of the major most of the major and morphological major morphological
मॉर्फोलॉजिकल दैट मे बी वेजिटेटिव और वेजिटेटिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव वेजिटेटिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव मीन्स मीन्स दैट मे बी सेक्सुअल और नॉन सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स मॉर्फोलॉजिकल दैट मे बी वेजिटेटिव वेजिटेटिव मीन्स नॉन सेक्सुअल ओके और रिप्रोडक्टिव मीन्स नॉन सेक्सुअल और नॉन रिप्रोडक्टिव वेजिटेटिव मीन्स नॉन सेक्सुअल और नॉन रिप्रोडक्टिव दे आर नॉट द रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर्स नॉन रिप्रोडक्टिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव structures morphological means that may be reproductive structure or non reproductive structure the non reproductive structures are said here the vegetative generally called vegetative okay characteristics morphologically similar For example, Homo sapiens, we all are having the similar structures externally: two eyes, one nose, mouth, two ears, two hands, or four limbs. For two four limbs, two hind limbs. The similar type of characteristics, the external characteristics. Another example is the Homo sapiens. The even the different organisms the whatever the you take the example they are the group of individuals those who are he explained according to carlos linnaeus the individuals according to carlos linnaeus the individuals which resemble they look similar resemble means similar similar to each other resemble each other in most uh, the major morphological characteristics example this are uh, different examples we can take the uh, given homo sapiens or the panthera tigris panthera leo panthera tigris tigers panthera leo lion okay now let us discuss the biological species concept biological species concept was given by first of all given by the naturalist the evolutionist charles darwin charles darwin first given the biological concept of concept of species in his book origin of species as per him the accumulation of varied character uh, different uh, characteristic new characteristics uh, that develop a new species and it was changed modified afterward ernst meyer ernst meyer in 1942 modified the definition modified the definition or the concept
concept of spaces. According to him, the spaces is a group of the actually and potentially interbreeding natural population. Those who are isolated, uh, reproductively isolated from other such groups. Who are the, the species? Is the group of according to, according to Ernest Mayer. Species is a group of actually and potentially interbreeding interbreeding natural population those who are who are reproductively isolated Or reproductively isolated, reproductively isolated from other such groups, from other such groups. For example, example, the members of the Panthera tigris. They can interbreed successfully. The members of Panthera Tigris Tigris can interbreed successfully. Can interbreed interbreed they can uh, the individuals can met and uh, reproduce the their own kind interbreed successfully whereas the members of the panthera tigris with the panthera leo they cannot reproduce successfully but They do not they do not uh, do so with the members of with the members of Panthera Leo. Have you heard about the hybrids? Hybrid, the tiger, ti uh, the, the male is a tiger, female is ti tigress or the lion, lioness. So, let me show you some examples. Tigon is a tigon. Tigon is the hybrid produced from the tiger, tiger, tiger means male plus lioness. Similarly, Liger, Liger is the product of, Liger is the product of, Liger is the product of Lion and Tigress. Yes, they can breed. But they cannot breed successfully by producing the fertile offsprings. They cannot give birth to the fertile offspring. These are not fertile. Fertile means those who can reproduce by giving birth to the own kind. And these are sterile. Generally these hybrids, these hybrids are sterile. Hybrids are sterile, not capable to reproduce. So, this breeding is not successful. So, 
this type of interbreeding this type of interbreeding is not successful is not successful when we will tell it is successful when they are capable to give birth when they are capable to give birth the fertile young ones when the members of the panthera tigris the interbreed they are producing the fertile offspring fertile children fertile cubs okay but when the the members of two different species that are of the same genus panthera panthera here this is the that panthera leo panthera genus panthera tigris the panthera genus but the species are different the breeding is not successful okay then genetic species concept the genetic species concept was given by given by lord c lord c in the year 1918 1918 according to him the species is a group of genetically uh, identical individuals group of genetically identical means they are similar in genetic material genetic component chromosomal complement okay as with the homo sapiens are similar we may be uh, staying in any part of the world that is we may be the african or russian or indian wherever we stay the chromosomal complement is 46 chromosome 44 uh, autosomes and two sex chromosome 22 pairs of autosome one pair of sex chromosome so those who are genetically identical according to him according to lord c species is a group of species is a group of genetically identical identical similar identical individuals but however the recent uh, trend consider the species as the group of uh, the species is a group of uh, that uh, actually and potentially interbreeding natural population that are closely resembling individuals uh, that are reproductively isolated from other such groups means the combination of all these three concepts that are that is considered for the species okay recent trend however is considered is considered the species the species is a group of actually and potentially potential with power potentially having the ability potentially interbreeding those who are means potentially interbreeding having the uh, that uh, fertile offspring the actually and potentially interbreeding 
नेचुरल पॉपुलेशन नेचुरल पॉपुलेशन क्लोजली रिजम्बलिंग क्लोजली रिजम्बलिंग क्लोजली रिजम्बलिंग हु टूल लमार्क सॉरी सॉरी कार्लस लिनियस क्लोजली रिजम्बलिंग इंडिविजुअल्स those are reproductively isolated reproductively isolated from other such groups okay the scientists of the recent time they they uh, they have considered the species is a those who are showing the actual potency to interbreed and uh, they resemble as well as they are reproductively isolated as per the genetic uh, um, or uh, they are also genetically similar okay the species can be subdivided into subspecies depending upon the geographical location depending upon the geographical location the species can be on the basis of geo geographical location species can also be species can be divided into subspecies the different uh, subspecies of the let us discuss of the panthera tig tigris the indian tiger bengal tiger panthera tigris tigris the panthera tigris uh, corbeti that is that is uh, the example of the indo chinese tiger examples panthera tigris 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 sorry tigris tigris this third uh, name is used for that geographical location it identifies the geographical location this is genus this is species this is subspecies this is genus write down all this uh, the panthera tigris is the species uh, which are uh, differentiated into different uh, type of subspecies on the basis of their as they are isolated geographically so this is the example of panthera tigris tigris panthera tigris tigris the third name is for geographical location that is to differentiate the isolated uh, geographically isolated uh, group of species indian or bengal tiger indian or bengal tiger the another type the panthera tigris tigris corbeti the indo chinese tiger uh, 
Panthera tigris corbeti. The Panthera tigris uh, jacksoni. Panthera tigris jacksoni. This is the Malayan tigress, tiger, Malayan, Malaysia, Malayan tiger. These are the different subspecies of tiger, the different species of the subspecies of the Panthera tigress. The, the still more varieties are the Java uh, tiger, the Caspian tiger, they are extinct. Okay. And uh, the species subspecies what is the subspecies the species is uh, uh, divided into different subspecies species is further divided into into subspecies A subspecies, a subspecies can be defined as the geographically, geographically isolated population of a species which are capable of interbreeding and producing the fertile hybrid. Hybrid the offspring, a species. can be defined as as the geographically isolated isolated population of a species which are capable of which are capable of interbreeding and producing and producing the fertile hybrids as we discuss the hybrid the hybrids like uh, the tiger or uh, ligris they are not fertile when the interspecific uh, the interbreeding is drawn in between the individuals of two different species but these are the same species but they are geographically isolated the populations are geographically isolated and uh, they adapted to different environment but they are capable to interbreed successfully okay so what we discuss in this session the species concept the different uh, the scientists given the different definitions or the concept the taxonomist the evolutionist the geneticist given we discuss the three type of concept morphological species concept biological species concept and the the genetic species concept genetic species concept when the individuals of a group are genetically resemble uh, having the similar the chromosomal complement that then they are said to be the species or uh, biologically when they interbreed uh, successfully and morphologically when they resemble but they are reproductively isolated from other such groups so you write down the note the, on the species concept mentioning all these three types and you can also um, do a comparative study in between these different type of uh, species concept and write down the short note on subspecies okay thank you have a nice day